Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the layers panel in Cricut Design Space. I'm using this cute little penguin design as my example to show you the features. So here we've got the layers and this shows you all the layers that make up the design and break it down into all the different coloured sections. Next we have Colour Sync. This allows you to drag and drop layers to consolidate material colours. So if we only wanted to use black white and orange we could take the red dicky bow and we could drag that into the orange and as we see now it's changed the dicky bow to be orange and it's eliminated the color red that's reducing the amount of colored materials we're going to use if you do consolidate the color like that and you wish to undo it you just need to simply go over to the undo arrow and that will return the dicky bow back to being red here we can see that all the layers have been selected because they're all in green and if we go up to this icon that will allow us to group them all together so when we come ready to make our project we would group them all together and then go to make it and that will keep the design together equally we can ungroup it and that will separate the lay layers and allow us to make amendments or edit them individually. Next up we've got duplicate so if we click on that we can simply duplicate our design. Next up we've got delete if you wanted to delete any part of it so here the dicky bow again is highlighted so if we clicked on delete it will just get rid of it. If we click on the individual layers we can see a little eye icon this shows you that that layer is visible. If you have clicked on the icon, then the element has become invisible. So therefore, Cricut will totally ignore it when you come to make it. So it will not draw, cut or score that element. But it is still on the layers panel. So if you did want to reinstate it, all you have to do is click on the eye icon and it will appear back again. Here we have the canvas and this tells you the canvas colour. You can click on that and you are able to change the colour of the canvas by choosing one of of the colors there or you can click on advanced and select one of the colors that way or if you have a hex code you can change it so if we click on yellow we can see now that it's changed the canvas color to be yellow so if you was working with a certain colored material or background you can see how your design is going to look before you've even made it down here is a set of operations that you can use to edit and enhance your designs so the first one is slice and that allows you to remove parts Parts of your design. The next one is combine. So for this one, you can weld, unite, subtract, intersect, and exclude. The next one is for attach. So you can attach all of your design together and then you can unattach it. The next function is flatten. This is really handy if you're doing print and cut. And the final option is contour. And this allows you to remove sections of intricate designs. I do have separate videos on those features which I will link below. Hope you enjoyed this brief oversight of the layers panel and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video.